Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Hertz. I am Assistant Professor of Entrepreneurship and Management at San Diego State University and San Diego Miramar College. And I am also your instructor in this online Business 100 class. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to uh, send a, a quick introductory video out to you to make sure that you're all prepared uh, for getting started in this class. Um, it's a very, very condensed class. It goes very quickly. So this is a, traditionally it's a 16 week, uh, three unit class. And this condensed online version is eight weeks, right? So double time. And beyond that, we have the Thanksgiving holiday in there. So essentially it's, it's as if we are trying to do 16 weeks worth of work in seven weeks. And so uh, you, you have to stay on top of this class. You cannot let yourself get behind or you will have a very difficult time, um, if not impossible time, catching up, catching up. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a couple things I want to show you. Um, so I will actually, uh, well, let, let's start by me showing you a, a little bit about the Canvas system. Hopefully you've now had a little experience uh, in Canvas. If you haven't, don't worry. There's lots of tutorials out there for you that I've shared with you so that you can uh, familiarize yourself with the system. So uh, this is the class. This is the, the Canvas class. Um, yours looks almost identical to this. I'm trying, I, I, I'm looking at it from the student view. So you should, you should see something very similar to this when you can get into your class on Monday. You can't get in here until, until Monday morning uh, when, when the class officially starts. Um, but as soon as you get in there, there's already work to do. So because of this condensed schedule and the holiday, we are not easing into the class. We are jumping in a uh, hundred miles an hour, feet first, just just going, right? Just just getting in there and going. And so you already have things to do as of, well, the first thing that you have to do is right now, right now, before Tuesday night, I would like you to have read the entire, um, or, or not the entire, the majority of uh, the pre-module. Um, I say not the entirety of because some of it may not be pertinent to all of you. So if you look through the modules here, this is the pre-module and this has the welcome, this introductory video, the syllabus is in there, um, some things about me, uh, some things about you. And then there is some information. See, uh, if you look at 0 0.5, student introduction to Canvas, that may not be necessary for all of you to go through and take some of those tutorial videos. But if it is your first online class, I highly recommend that you go through and you look at those and see um, how, how we navigate the system and how we turn things in. And, um, and all of you should look and make sure that your computer is ready. We, we don't want to be using uh, certain browsers. I, Chrome is the best for, for Canvas, especially when you're taking a test. We don't want, you definitely don't want to use Internet Explorer, uh, even Firefox and um, some of the others have issues. So just stick with Chrome. Um, what else did I want to tell you about this? module? Oh, you'll want to read through, every one of you will want to read through the discussion 0 0.6, how we grade the discussion posts and, and how you should conduct those discussion posts. That's particularly relevant if, um, if you've even if you've taken an online class before, but if you haven't, because uh, the way that we the way that we grade discussion posts in the business classes are a lot more strict than you'll see in some of the other classes. It's not just enough to go in there and write something, right? You need to stick to the guidelines. You need to uh, you need to do exactly what we're looking for. You have to follow the rules of business communications. By that we mean you use block paragraphs. They're left justified. We don't indent at the beginning of a paragraph. Um, our paragraphs in business are shorter than they are in English or, or, or other subjects because in business we like things to be clear and concise. We'd like you to get to the point quickly. And so we have short paragraphs. If there's a separate uh, a shift in topic, you shift to the next paragraph. If you write a paragraph with more than 100 words, you'll be marked down on your discussion post. We want them, them short. Um, you don't have to cite in discussion in discussion posts. Um, and here's the initial prompt in there. 
There's also information about uh, the responses. So in this class, it's a very systematic approach. You never have to guess anything. I tell you exactly what is expected of you. And um, every single week we have a discussion post due on Wednesday and you have to respond to two peers by Saturday. We also have other assignments due and I'll go in and show you those. You can read this on your own, I'll show you those. Um, oh, and don't, when you're toggling through or navigating through Canvas, don't just use the previous or next buttons. Go back to the modules or go back to the home, which takes you to the modules so that you don't miss anything. Uh, there, I, I've seen a lot of students who've had issues in the past. This is now the second semester that we've been using the Canvas system. So I wanted to show you other thing. Besides the, besides the discussion posts that are due every week, uh, the syllabus is available here and it, it's, the entire syllabus is, is provided here, but then we've actually um, separated the material by, uh, by uh, section to section so you can get to things quickly. And I wanted to show you the grading criteria there, the grading criteria as one of the pages in the distribution. So there are many components that make up your grade in this class. There's a resume assignment. We have those weekly course discussions. There are chapter homework assignments, which are typically quizzes that you need to do once a week. Uh, there are exams, a, a midterm and a final. They're non-cumulative and they're online. And you can read through the, the specifics. But um, all of these together account for your grade. And there's a point system there, so you, you need to earn the points in order to get that particular grade. There is a, or there are rather a couple of opportunities for extra credit as well. I've already posted one of them in Canvas in module, we'll check in a minute, I think module three. Uh, it's for November, we're going to have a guest speaker. Actually the CTO, the, ch the Chief Technology Officer of Walmart Labs up in Carlsbad is going to be talking to us uh, at Miramar College. So if you can come to that, you'll get extra credit for it. We'll do some networking afterwards, but um, that's the breakdown of the grades and there is so much information in here. I, I just, I want you to get familiar with everything that, um, that that's in here so that you, you know how to, um, how to navigate, you know what's expected of you. Oh, I know what I also wanted to say. Uh, there's, this is a very predictable structure of the course. Everything's due on Wednesday, everything's due on, or, or on Saturday. Uh, almost never do we have things due on other days. The exception to that is right now. Uh, I have a very, this is a very full class. There are 27 people waiting to get into this class. And so we have an attendance, uh, mandated attendance, uh, wherein you you must come in and log into the system and prove that you are going to be in this class working and 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 doing good things and if you do that you're you're fine and if you don't i will drop you from the class and the way that you prove that you're doing good things or that you're in the system is you read uh, through the pre module and you do the beginning of the first assignment which is here, 0 0.4, meet your classmates. I want you to upload a photo, uh, upload a photo to Canvas so that when we are communicating with one another, we have something to picture. So we have that, that more of that, uh, that context, that, that richness, that channel richness. So there's instructions on how to do it here. This has to be done before, um, Preferably before before Tuesday, the is that the fifteenth? Yep, there we go. To do Tuesday at the fifteenth, um, but very latest. I, I won't drop you if you have if you, if you haven't done it on Tuesday. Uh, I won't drop you until Wednesday if if I haven't seen anything. So if you can get in here and you're doing things, that's fine. Um, even if you, you're having trouble with the photo or you're having trouble submitting the assignment, if I see that you're in there doing things, I, I won't drop you. Um, and that's another thing I, I will quickly say, I can, that one of the nice things about Canvas is I can actually see that the students are participating and when they're participating and what they're doing. And if, uh, if you're not doing what you should be doing, I will, um, I will let you know, and I, I could potentially actually even drop you from the class. Um, you need to be not just going in there and, and submitting the assignments as quickly and, and doing nothing else. You actually have to go into the system every week. You have to watch, for example, uh, the lecture videos. There's lecture videos posted every single week. 
uh, on the different chapters and on the different topics. And I can see how much of the videos you watch, so make sure that you're watching them. Uh, and, and the reason isn't just because I'm some sort of a tyrant that wants to stay on top of you. It's because what I, what I found is when people don't watch the videos or they don't, um, they don't read through the instructions or read the course material, they end up sending me messages asking me just questions, silly questions that they could have found in, um, in just moments of research. And I love hearing from you, but I also have 500 students between SDSU and, and Miramar uh, College just this semester. And uh, email overload is, is a real thing in my life. So I love hearing from you if it's something legitimate, if it's just something that you could have found by doing what you should be doing, please don't, please don't do that to me. I would appreciate that. So is there anything else I need to tell you? Oh, I do want to tell you one other thing just quickly. I, uh, I, I normally will, will be very, very responsive. Excuse me, when you send me an email or when you call me, uh, you'll get a response. 48 hours, I say, give me 48 hours on weekdays to, to get back to you, but it's usually much, much quicker than that. Um, there is an exception, though, because this week I'm actually leaving for, uh, pre I'm presenting at a conference up north, and I will be gone from Monday until Thursday night. And so th there'll be four days where I will be unavailable. If anything happens in those four days, you can still reach out to me by email. If I can get to it and, and somehow write back to you, I will. But if not, don't, don't be afraid. Don't, don't think, oh, I'm going to miss it and be marked down on my assignment. If something happens, just take a screenshot of what's going on, if you can. And then when I get back, we'll figure it out, right? We'll, we'll figure out how to, how to fix it. And we'll, I can put a, um, an extension in there or give you another attempt on an assignment if we need to or something like that. And if that ever happens, that's, that's just kind of a good, good rule of thumb. But usually you can get a hold of me. Almost always you can get a hold of me um, within, like say within 48 hours, but, but much, much quicker than that. I usually respond to, to emails. Now, if you do email me, you can do it here through the Canvas system using the, the inbox, as you see over on your, your left, um, left screen, you can email it that way, or you can email me directly to my district email. If you email me directly, you have to put our course name in the subject line, because like I said, I have too many classes. So BUSE 100 goes in the subject line. And what else? If you call me, it's a landline, so you have to leave your name and number. I get messages all semester long with students just telling me who they are and not leaving a number or not telling me who they are even. So um, then I can't call you back. So anyways, I think that's it. I look forward to, I look forward to getting to know you. I'm, I'm excited to, to read your posts. I'm excited to, I'm excited to um, just to, to get to know each and every one of you. So uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me and best of luck to you uh, on this fun, I think fun uh, business online course. Take care. Bye-bye.